Um, one of the other concepts I wanted to ask you about is the concept of Berkshire being able to attract high quality shareholders. I know this is something that you spent some time on in your paper, the case for empowering quality shareholders. You, you present this two by two matrix of different types of investors. So you have your transients, which are low conviction, short term time horizon investors, your indexers, which are essentially low conviction, but long term time horizon investors, activists, which are high conviction and short term, mostly time horizon type of investors. And then you have this sort of fourth quadrant, which is the quality, high conviction, long term time horizon shareholders. So I wanted just to see if you could talk about what those major attributes are of um, the high quality shareholders, sort, sort of flush that out a little bit more. And then, you know, sort of contrast that with some of those groups. I mean, I kind of did it at a high level, but if you just want to speak to that, I think that would be very um, interesting. Yeah, thanks. That, that matrix tries to capture today's general shareholder demographic. And I, I think those are the four major categories. Um, and uh, it's, it's important because the dominant ownership of corporate America today are those indexers that is long term but but not concentrated which own about 40 percent corporate america and the transients the short termers uh who just are in and out momentum traders um arbs just opportunists uh, and they own about 40 percent depending on how you count the activists are moving in and out at various places they have higher or lower stakes at various times, but roughly they command about 5% of the public equity markets at any given time. So it's only about 15% of today's shareholder demographic that are long-term and concentrated. Uh, but they will probably be the group that is most able and willing to make the most valuable and rational uh, long-term decisions on shareholder voting, like director elections, mergers, big asset sales, and other things, uh, compared to those other groups. Uh, all the groups contribute something and contribute something valuable. Um, the transients contribute liquidity and, and deep capital markets, which is extremely valuable. The indexers contribute the possibility for millions of ordinary people to get the market return at, at basically you know, zero, zero cost, zero, zero risk. So they all play a role, but you've got to have a group uh, that is focused and long term in order to have rational pricing and, and optimal uh, business decisions. So I think that cohort is um, increasing, you know, it's getting smaller and smaller, has been getting smaller and smaller over the past 20 or 30 years. Um, and is they're increasingly important 